Hello tribe, welcome back to my channel. Today's topic is what you're being prepared for that has been picked by Patreon tribe and therefore this is going to be also an extended reading on Patreon, whoever is interested in that. Pile number one is on your left, pile number three is on your right. This is the Dreams of Gaia Tarot that I'm using as your main cards. Choose using your intuition, not your eyes, and I'll catch you in timestamps. Hello, pile number one people. Let's see what you're being prepared for. Tribe over here. Okay, so I want to take the reversal here for pile number one. It felt like it's a reversal. We keep it as a reversal. This is the eight of fire, which is the eight of wands here. It seems like what you're being prepared for is for a moment of slow down, especially if you felt that there was a lot happening or if you felt like you were rushing a lot um, or the energy was just intense it seems like the intensity is not there anymore but let's see what that that i can't speak what that has to do with okay let's see pile number one what are you being prepared for here what are you being prepared for Being prepared for <clears throat> okay, bottom of a deck, we got the Ten of Swords. Okay, so what's happening here with pile number one? What you're being prepared for? It seems like are you prepared for this um, moment in your life when you will have to stop and you know the song that that i remembered of stop and stare but who the song is let me google it um is it by one yeah it's by one republic stop and stare let me just turn into the, the lyrics let's see what up look it ties in very nicely with your cards it says this town is colder now I think it's sick of us. It's time to make our move. I'm shaking off the rust. Yes, you definitely, there's gonna be a moment when you'll be shaking off the rust, that is for sure. And I'm looking at the 10 of swords here. I've got my heart set on anywhere but here. I'm starting, I'm staring down myself, con counting up the years. Steady hands just take the wheel. Every glance is killing me time to make one last appeal for the life i lead so that stop that i talked about you have why it's happening you have to be a little bit more present and more observing of your surroundings so things will slow down a little bit because what you're doing you're taking a moment um, of breath you have to breathe in and i'm seeing you breathe in and then you're like okay let me actually think about my wishes and my dreams and what is the next one that, I, that I'm going to be putting on the shelf over here? But before you think about the next one, you first of all dust off, <laughs> okay? You dust off all the other accomplishments that you have, meaning you take time to acknowledge how far you've come. And you're starting to write some kind of a think about some kind of a new plan. You have a structure. You might even have to maybe send a letter or send an email or message to someone and communicate to them about maybe these changes or what you you are deciding to do when it comes to your dream or your overall fulfillment because it seems like something is not making you warm right now and you're acknowledging that by um, that moment of stop of stillness because otherwise it seems like someone wouldn't even acknowledge that something is out of place so um your soul is saying okay let's take a moment let's not be so ahead of ourselves let's slow down a bit and let's acknowledge what is actually making us feel cold and why we feel cold what needs to be done in order for us to feel warmer and therefore we have this card in the middle right here maybe some of you will have to communicate with someone else send an email send a message about your wishes about your goals or your accomplishments but Whatever the case, this is very connected to your 
dreams of some sort pile number one and it's it's a play in time i'm seeing play in time what i being prepared for so then he goes stop and stare i think i'm moving but i go nowhere yeah i know that everyone gets scared but i've become what i can't be stop and stare you start to wonder why you are here not there see there is comparison happening so that is why i think you gotta take a moment to Take a look at your life in your present moment and see, okay, am I jumping ahead of myself? What is next for me? Um, am I thinking about the future too much? Am I rushing into something, okay? And then he continues, and you would give away, um, sorry, and you would give anything to get what's fair, but fair ain't what you really need. Oh, can you see what I see? They're trying to come back, all my senses push untie the the weight tags i never thought i could steady feet don't feel me now i'm gonna run till you can't walk but something pulls my focus out and i'm standing down so there is that grounding energy that is happening here for us before this new endeavor of yours but whatever this is this is definitely fulfilling your heart you're feeling like you're more in balance because someone really needed that minute for themselves to stop and stare at certain things in their life okay mm -hmm. and now we're ready to move forward what are you being prepared for <clears throat> A lot of communication is coming through here in panel number one. So if you're looking for a message from someone, waiting for um, a message or some kind of approval um, from anywhere, it's saying it's coming through and that's going to shift a lot of things. And if you know what that is for you already, you know how that's going to shift your life around a bit. Okay, you know it. <clears throat> we have the high priestess and my throat's being funny here. I'm being prepared for fairness, balance, happy times. Um, I'm seeing a reunion here. Um, I'm seeing a reunion, but I'm also seeing a big um, group of people, almost like as if these are your tribe members, this is your community. Um, someone is being acknowledged in their community or someone is being rewarded for the work that they have done especially if that work is there in order to help those out who don't have as much who don't know as much etc etc so someone is being rewarded here and what you're being prepared for is this reward but it's very important to again i keep seeing the time i'm seeing i'm seeing a clock um, to really acknowledge what's up with timing and are you jumping ahead of yourself? Are you in need for a moment before the next phase, okay? Yeah, it seems like it's going to be a, a, a very rewarding time for you here. Rewarding time, someone is also acknowledging how they're using their skills and how much they're being paid for those skills and how much they want to get paid for those skills so someone is making the best out of their skills someone has a plan and there's a lot of celebrations to be had here but also there's a lot of planning that i'm seeing here and i don't know if you have already something uh, very specific on your mind when it comes to your next chapter in life but it's definitely being shown here that I'm, i need time to sort this out before I start this new chapter. And this has a connection, we have Nine of Pentacles at the bottom with your independence, uh, with you feeling like you, you've you made it, you feeling appreciated and you feeling overall that you have much more um, than you had before. But again, it's, it's almost like coming through as a gift from either community member or members or um, your higher self, I wanna say, because we, I wanted to put this card on top of the um, High Priestess, which is very connected to our higher self. <clears throat> okay. 
Yeah, you guys are sorting out financial issues here. You are trying to figure out, trying to write down things. You, maybe you're saving money. Maybe you want to earn more. Um, you know what's what I remembered of this guy talking on on YouTube, and I it really stuck to me. Um, he was saying you can have the same skill um, and ability and work in a job that pays you four times less for the same skill than the other job. So what you gotta do is to come out there to the world and really you know, do your research <clears throat> to see, I don't know what's wrong with my voice, to see uh, maybe that communication is somehow blocked or someone doesn't want to come out to that world and communicate and and show themselves, you know, and say, hey, are you looking for, I don't know, IT specialist in your company and truly ask those questions in order to be paid for their skill more um, than what they're pay being paid right now. There is a possibility to earn more or get more in return for what you already know of, for what you do in. So that's why strategizing here, it's important for you, I think, as well as communication with others, because you're like, mm, I'm still not being satisfied. I feel like um, I deserve more. And you go for it, you know, go and get what's yours. Um, the world is your oyster pile number one. I'm going to extend this on you on YouTube, I wanted to say, on Patreon, and we'll see what else we got here. And I'm going to see you all in the next one. Bye for now. Hello Tribe 2. So we're going to be looking at what you're being prepared for as per Patreon uh, votes. And let's get to this. So there will be an extended to this reading. Whoever is looking forward on Patreon. Okay, you go girls and boys. I mean, is that enough? Can we just end the reading here? I'm joking. Let's look at the um, picture itself. So for some of you... Um, this dragon symbol might mean something straight away and you're like, got this, got it. Uh, this is maybe my spirit animal, I don't know, maybe I have a connection to this. Um, somehow we have a butterfly here, we also have grapes, a lot of fruit. We're talking about a lot of abundance and we're also talking about new life, if you can see right here. And it seems like the, those birds just hatched out of those eggs. And we also have some sort of a wand right here. It's almost as if it was a magic wand. And the rabbit is being very still. So we're being still with our abundance. And we're just taking time to acknowledge and appreciate that abundance. And at the same time, we are sharing this moment with someone else. Okay, let's look at this. What deck are we using for you all? Because that is very interesting. Um, vice versa is the vibe. What are you being prepared for? I'm hearing, looking at what you gave birth to. Sometimes random sentences like this come through and I'm like, okay. To someone that's going to make a lot of sense, hopefully. Okay, so we have the Eight of Cups in this deck. It's a bit of a different vibe, right? So there was a moment or there will be a moment when someone feels like, oh, is this satisfying me now? I don't feel like I'm emotionally satisfied. There must be something else there. And you might feel a presence, you know, you might feel like you are looking for an answer for that key to your abundance, to your fulfillment, and you're like, let me sit there and kind of figure it out and see what that is. And I'll only start walking towards what I want when I figure out what is the missing ingredient here for me. King of Wands reversed. Five of Wands. Four of Cups, Knight of Cups, Eight of Swords, bottom of a deck. I believe that's the page. Yeah, Page of Wands. Rising like a phoenix, what you're being prepared for. There's someone leaving here. Um, there's distance between two people I'm seeing. 
and i'm also seeing someone looking at the future what the future has to offer um i also want to say what you're being prepared for is uh, fully recognizing the other person and let me just clarify one thing mm -hmm. that's what i thought and it somehow your view on abundance changes or already changed through difficulties there was a time or there will be a time when you have to sorry we have to allow the conflicts leave your life allow the uncertainty leave your life um, because it's still there for some of you and i think this is somehow connected to either a person or the place that you are in and your intuition is whispering to you what to do about this it's saying get out of your head um, connect your heart because there is rebirth what you're being prepared for see there is eruption with that volcano and that eruption is beautiful but at the same time scary like the tower card but it's there to make us see again and it seems like you're getting a lot of clarity on contentment and abundance and how to get there but most importantly what was that stone in the shoe that didn't allow you to walk peacefully How past lack or past disappointments grew you as a character, as a person, and gave you skills to get to the abundance that you want to get to? But first of all, the old belief system, that stone in the shoe that we talked about, is being getting rid of before we can get there. Okay? Okay. I'm hearing I'm no one's clown. So there might be some kind of a face-to-face -face situation here where someone has to face how they impacted the other and someone is ready to fight for what they deserve truly. And they're like, no, I'm not doing this anymore. No, that doesn't fly with me. No, I feel like, you know what? I want to erase this because I'm seeing an actual uh, rubber and I'm seeing someone erasing something. Like, no, that doesn't vibe with me. I don't want that in my diary anymore. So I don't know what is going on here. This could be connected to the other person. Um, platonically, romantically, business-wise, card on the floor. And you're being prepared for sorting this out or acknowledging how that impacts you or how... It impacts your emotional fulfillment. Okay? How fulfilled are we? This is a moment of truth. This is a moment of clarity. I don't know why I keep hearing I'm not your clown. And we're pulling cars that look like that. Okay. There is someone that you haven't met just yet whom you'll meet around the time when you're going to be going through self-exploration. And that's going to have a connection to also your balance. This could be your, um, I'm seeing also a bank balance. Um, so maybe you're going to take some time for yourself to explore how you can have more balance. Can you add to your income? Can you take um, on something extra in order to balance this out? But it feels like this would be temporarily um, because... 
you're just trying to earn something here in order to get something and then that takes you somewhere else this is very interesting like i'm sorry this is not straightforward but that's what i'm seeing so for example someone got an extra job or they paid um somewhere on the week they, they worked somewhere on the weekend to get that extra cash to then put it for some sort of goal that takes them out of a either mystery or improves their life a little bit more. Let's talk about this abundance. Where will you see this abundance in your life, please? I'm just going to allow the uh, gravity to do the work. Peace of mind. That's nice. She's very peaceful. Um, that's why she, the, I told you the rabbit is not, you know, hopping around. It's very peaceful. She's looking at, you know, this life in her hand that she has. Peace of mind. So your abundance is your own contentment and i'm i'm hearing finally so maybe you've been dealing with a lot lately or in the last chapter of your life and i'm also seeing someone giving a rest um to a relationship i'm hearing i'll give it a rest I'll give it a rest. I'm not pushing it anymore. Whenever it comes, and if it comes, then it's meant to be. If not, I'm content where I am. Because my intuition told me so. My intuition probably also told you that you're going to meet someone important moving forward. And that is true too. How important this person will be, what they're going to bring, what they're going to bring. There's again, there are references to birth over here. So you're birthing, um, maybe some of you are birthing a child and this is a new chapter for you, right? Um, but for others of you, this birth is connected to a rebirth and I'm seeing it from emotional imbalance to peace of mind or from tangled thoughts to very well organized thoughts that's the vibe and there is no rushing um someone is also working on their dream step by step i'm seeing someone also helping people very much and therefore are they being thanked for that because i'm seeing someone working in medical field and that's the contentment being able to see the changes being able to see the healing being able to be a part of it and it feels like for some of you something has been said something was said by someone else in your surroundings that not that is not necessarily true about your life or about you and you're like i can't believe i I took their word over mine. I'm much more content now. That's that's what you're being prepared for. But there's going to be this um, lightning before the peace. So allow whatever has to fall away, fall away gracefully because it's outgrown. I'm seeing here it is outgrown especially if that's the thing that doesn't allow you to feel peaceful and I think this could be job related for you I split the deck we have the ten of swords and maybe you are going to be feeling like okay I feel like I need a change in in, in a job itself or I need to I need to change things up within it or how I speak and how I act. 
I don't have to be as stressed. I don't have to be as influenced by my surroundings anymore. It will happen only when I allow it to. Okay? Why well, an interesting reading? I'm going to extend this on Patreon. We'll see what up uh, here. But for the rest of you, thank you so much. And I hope you have a great week. Bye for now. Hello, tribe. Let's see what is up with pile number three. What are you being prepared for? You got the Ten of Haya, which is the Ten of Wands. Um, this imagery is very unique and very different. Um, what we are picking up straight away here is by allowing... I'm almost seeing that there might be a snake relevant here um, for some of you. Or a spirit animal that you're aware of. I'm seeing also an eagle, a wolf. Oh, actually, there is a snake right here. Eh? I mean, it's not very um, clear, but here we are. Um, but what I saw, I saw a shedding snake. And uh, it seems like what you're being prepared for is a stronger version of self. And this version of self is also able to channel more clearly. And it's because it seems like you're leaving that old skin behind <clears throat> that was maybe acting as a protection for some time, but you've outgrown it now and you don't need it to disturb your view. I hope I'm making sense here. Okay, which deck are we using for you all? Interesting part three. Um, I actually want to use the Game of Thrones tarot. What are you being prepared for? Letting go of the heaviness, hey? Eh? Letting go of the heaviness. We have nine of spears, yeah, but there's something to fight for there. We have a tower. Not surprising, is it? You have the Knight of Spears. But it seems like here you're in full control of this tower. That's what someone is wishing for. Because sometimes tower feels very unavoidable. But here it seems like you're wishing upon that tower to set you free from that heaviness. And you know that you're going to have to rebuild something. But like, I'm ready. Bring it on. I have my spears ready. Okay? I'm coming towards that tower myself and I'll knock this shit down. <laughs> Strong energy. You, you're coming up strong here. Yeah, Ten of Swords is here. Temperance is here. This is nice um, that we have Temperance on top of Tower because it seems like after this, um, you're stepping into more balance, but we're releasing something here. Um, I'm seeing a wall being knocked down. Uh, maybe you have put a wall up. Maybe you haven't showed your true self. And there is going to be a situation where you will. And in that way, you release yourself and you show yourself to the world of who you truly are. Yeah, you have the Queen of Spears here. You have Warrior Spirits here. And you're coming through here quite strong. Let's see what you're leaving behind. No more contemplation, no more silence I'm hearing. <clears throat> no more contemplation, no more silence, no more repression. No more lies. Someone is standing their ground very strongly here. There will be a moment where someone has to stand their ground because if they don't, then the are not true to themselves. They're lying to themselves, they're putting themselves in the back seat and they've been doing it for way too long. Mm -hmm. I'm also seeing a, now this is a different story. 
I'm also seeing a phase in life where the battle is over, I'm hearing. And now, when we're looking at the two of spears right here, now I'm standing looking at that beautiful horizon contemplating on what is next for me. And I suddenly remember a person that I really care for or who is very close to my soul. And I'm picking up the phone, I'm reaching out to them, or I'm letting them know that I'm coming over to visit. There is some sort of visitation here too that is important that's being shown for pile three. And that connection with someone else is going to be very soulful, uh, probably going to be discussing a lot of deep things, um, or those times when you had to go at it alone, I'm also hearing. And from that connection, something bigger can grow. Something bigger can grow. <clears throat> Queen of Cups. Yes, yeah, someone is wishing for someone here. You might even find out that someone was thinking of you around the same time you are thinking of them. Or they text you or you text them around the time that you or them thought about each other. I'm seeing someone saying, what a strong individual do you grew up to be? I'm happy how you're able to stand up for what you care for and to stay humble. And I'm saying humble because someone is, someone has built quite a lot for themselves, it's not, if not just yet, and that's what they're being prepared for. And that allows them to be as independent as possible. But at the same time, before they go to bed, they pray for someone else's wealth. You know what I mean? That's, that's the humbleness that I'm sensing here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see, what are you being prepared for? Someone is definitely ready for some sort of a battle here, but it's 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 a battle to prove a point, um, to spread the message. So maybe someone is standing up for minority or standing up for what they believe in because um, I'm seeing a possible... Yeah, this could be something to do with um, law or system. And this reminds me of a song by Rage Against the Machine. You know that song, F you, I won't do what you tell me? <clears throat> that kind of song, <laughs> that kind of vibe. Because someone is really standing up for, for what is really important here. But they are not coming from chaos, not, not chaotic energy. They, first of all, they take in a moment to gather themselves and to think things through. How I'm going to do this? How can I win this battle? What is needed for me to know? Because whatever this is, then it's going to make me feel... <clears throat> if I approach it correctly, it's going to make me feel that I have everything that I wished for in this topic, okay? I'm also seeing someone someone is being happy because the other person is not there anymore. Um, so in case someone was bringing chaos constantly or some sort of drama, 
um, this person organically is just going to fall away from situations. So if an example was a co-worker who always caused some sort of problems or drama that was very unnecessary, um, that person, something's going to, you know, happen in their life where they're going to have to leave. Either they're going to get a new job, a better offer. Well, I'm seeing an organic way of sorting things out. It's just going to happen, okay? It's just going to happen. <clears throat> Let's see what else. Teamwork is very important here. I'm hearing we can build an empire if we bring skill our skills together. I'm seeing people working together, communicating with one another and building something. But before that, they look at the building metaphorically and they're like, ah, this is old. Let's knock it down. Let's start over. We can make it much better. Okay, so I don't know what that building is to you, um, what that represents to you, but there is definitely a, a better structure that is being built. Um, or someone is coming up with an, with an idea to get people together or look for collabs um, or look for maybe a, a different job, whatever the case where they have maybe a, more skilled people in order to build something a little bit more long lasting. Okay. I'm going to extend this on Patreon and we'll see what else is coming through. And I'm going to catch you in the next one. Bye for now.